Good evening. I'm Shelley Abair, Executive Director for Public Affairs at Stanford Hospital and Clinics. On behalf of the hospital and our partners, Lucille Packer Children's Hospital and the Stanford School of Medicine, welcome and thank you all for coming tonight. I also want to thank our co-sponsors for this evening, the American Institute of Architects chapters of San Francisco and Santa Clara Valley. Um, we very much appreciate their support in making this program possible. This is the fourth in our Healthcare Tomorrow series of educational programs on topics related to community health and design of new hospital facilities and the exciting potential for enhancing services that we all very much count on in our community. Our next program that we're planning is going to be on September 18th and we'll focus on back to school healthcare issues for children and we hope that many of you will join us for that evening. Our prior programs are uh, currently running on public access TV and if you missed them, there's both the opportunity to see them on public access and also people have asked us to make them available through the Stanford Health Library which is located at Stanford Shopping Center and you can go there and check out a DVD. Um, the previous topics have included the future of healthcare, hospitals of the future, and what green and sustainability means for hospitals and healthcare. Tonight's topic is one that is especially important to all of us. We all count on emergency services to be there for personal accidents, um, sudden illness or injury for us, our families, our friends, our neighbors, and our colleagues. Particularly in California, with the potential for earthquakes, we are even more aware of the role emergency services would play in the event of a regional disaster. In today's world, unfortunately, such disasters might include a pandemic flu or bioterrorism. Recent tragic events in China and elsewhere have provided us a very sobering reminder of the issues we'll be focusing on this evening. We're very fortunate to have um, two nationally and internationally recognized physician experts in the field of em emergency medicine to discuss nationwide trends and challenges as well as opportunities for improved care of patients. And I'm also very pleased that we have been able to include an additional speaker this evening who's going to share with us some very exciting developments in technology. Each of our speakers will give a presentation and then we'll follow that with a question answer period. So we do appreciate your holding your questions um, until that part of the program. Before I introduce our speakers, I would also like to welcome and introduce Mark Tortorich, our Vice President for Design and Construction of the hospital's projects. Mark, would you like to uh, say hello? Uh, Mark will be available during the question and answer portion of the evening. Your programs tonight include detailed bios of our speakers, but I would just like to highlight uh, some of their many accomplishments um, before we get started. So our first speaker will be Dr. Bob Norris, who is Division Chief of Emergency Medicine and Associate Professor at Stanford Hospital and Clinics. Over the past 20 years, Dr. Norris has presented at literally hundreds of special events and lectures regarding emergency medicine and has contributed to writing more than 100 journal articles, editorials, and medical textbooks. In 2007, he received the Wilderness Medical Society Research Award, and in 2005, he was honored with the or organization's Education Award. Since 2001, he has served as Editor-in-Chief of Wilderness and Environmental Medicine, the official journal of the Wilderness Medical Society. And I was very interested to hear this evening as we were waiting for the program to, get, to begin that uh, Dr. Norris has only just recently returned from a trip to Iraq where he participated in training Iraqi uh, physicians in emergency medicine and trauma uh, techniques. And he's also done similar types of training in other countries around the world, including India. Evan Kermit, who is joining us tonight, um, is the operations manager of the Goodman Simulation Center at Stanford Hospital. Evan recently returned to Stanford after several years of working in the medical device industry doing research development and hands-on design engineering roles. He is the holder of several patents related to this type of work. He began his career at Stanford in cardiology and in clinical engineering 
and he now brings both clinical and technical knowledge to the Goodman Simulation Center, which is an exciting joint program of the School of Medicine and Stanford Hospital. So we welcome Eben back to Stanford, and um, I know you're going to find his presentation very interesting. Our third speaker um, is Dr. Paul Auerbach. And uh, you'll notice that he's not yet on the podium, but it's for a really good reason that we can all congratulate him on when he arrives. Um, Dr. Auerbach's son is a member of the Los Altos High baseball team who has just moments ago won the semi-final regional <laughs> baseball championship. <laughs> so he is racing down 101 as we speak on his way here. He's very excited, as you can imagine. And um, we told him that under the circumstances, we would understand if he was a few minutes late in arriving. Um, Dr. Auerbach is clinical professor of surgery at Stanford Hospital and Clinics. He's been named uh, recently as a hero of emergency medicine and received the Outstanding Contribution in Education Award <sighs> from the American College of Emergency Physicians. Dr. Auerbach is the editor of a textbook entitled Wilderness Medicine and is currently conducting research related to avalanche rescue, frostbite, and effects of contact with marine mammal venom on humans. Over the years, he has authored hundreds of contributions to textbooks and medical journals. He's a founder of the Wilderness Medical Society, which is an organization where physicians and health professionals combine their profession and passion for the wilderness and is recognized as an international leader for organizations that add depth to the practice, teaching, and research of emergency medicine. 